I'd like to thank the following teams or committee members. And if you're here, please welcome, I'm welcoming you to come up here so you can see how many people it takes to make this project come. We have a project team. This team has met weekly for over a year and we're in charge of coordinating the myriad of details for the project and will continue to do so until our grand opening. Ms. Colleen Armstrong, Vice President of Finance and Administration. Rachel Anderson, Assistant Director of Student Life. Cliff, <laughs> Cliff Kitchen, Director of Facilities. Brian Crawford, Director of Information and Technology. Joel Zarr, Director of Student Center and Auxiliary Services. And our project manager team from ARC Integrated Management, Ryan Smelker and Chris Squadre, if they come up. And myself, this was our project management team. And I do have to say, Ryan has a new sidekick here, and Krista, I'd like to acknowledge Krista's joining us from ARC as well. This was our project management team. Then we have our design steering committee. These this committee met bi-monthly to provide input and reconcile the design intent on behalf of many of our user groups. The committee had a significant impact on the final architectural and interior design of the facility within the program parameters, again, set by our students. We had student representatives on this. We had Xavier Johnson Villapondo, our ASG representative. Come on up. We had Monica Martinez, our rec center student employee. James Vasquez, past the ASG president, and Tony Moorhead. James is here, I know that, and I don't know if Tony's here or not. Tony Moorhead Vasquez. All right, Tony's here too. Those were our student representatives. In addition, we had Carrie Ann Martinez, director of recruitment. Michael Gage, director of advising. Carol Himes, culinary arts department chair, hospitality side. Woo! <laughs> Carolyn Stevens, coordinator of conference and event services. John Broody, our cash manager. Dwayne Garrett, our faculty representative. Lori Denny, administrative assistant for the Student Center. James Cowdery, our executive chef. The Kristen Brunt, textbook coordinator. <laughs> Beverly Dwyer, our former bookstore manager who retired, not because of the project, because she retired. <laughs> Tobin Howell, Student Center building maintenance supervisor. And again, Rachel Anderson, Joel Zarr, and myself were on this committee. That was that committee. Then we have our executive steering committee, who met monthly to review and approve the final recommendations of these uh, committees and task force for the project. Patty Urjavik, our president. Laura Solano, vice president of student learning. Colleen Armstrong, vice president of administration and finance. Diane Porter, executive director for our foundation. Maya Kurtz, Director of Admissions and Records. Dan Gallegos, Director of Grounds and Housekeeping. Plus, Cliff Kitchen, Joel Zarr, Rachel Anderson, James Vasquez, Monica Martinez, and myself. That's that team. <laughs> then we have our architect team from Oz, our Oz architect team, who helped us develop and coordinate the entire design of the building. David Schaefer, principal in charge. Tracy Tafoya, principal interior designer. Robert Wilsey, interior designer. Nathan Meeson, senior design architect. Rick Peterson, principal concept design. And Tom Hoover, architect. They're our, our architect design team. Thank you. <laughs> and certainly, last but not least, is our Contractor, G.H. Phipps. The majority of G.H. Phipps' work is still ahead as the general contractor, and you're going to see their faces around a lot. But they've been involved in the project since schematic design, providing input into the constructability and the cost of our project. We have Mike Hester, project manager. Join us. Mark Thomas, cost estimator. David Swartz, cost estimator. Tyler Reed, project engineer. And Jim Martin, our project superintendent. Thank you. It truly takes a village to reconstruct and renovate this building. While all the groups mentioned to date have had coordinating and oversight rules, the project would not have been designed without, any, without the input of everyone that works in the student center, the largest of our student center user groups. They all took the process seriously and wanted to make sure the final product would be conducive to serving our students and providing a motivating working environment. 
The process allowed for numerous opportunities for the building users to provide input, and we thank all of our users of this group, community, students, and all of the employees and staff at PCC. Thank you. And last, I'd like to again, the last praise goes out to those that matter the most, our students, and specifically the many student leaders involved from the beginning of the master space plan to the groundbreaking today. Without their initiative to drive this program plan of the facility and fund it by raising their own student fees, we wouldn't be standing here ready to break ground. So let's hear it one more time for the students of Pueblo Community College. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. And also, let's give a big round of applause for Cindy's involvement and, of course, having to put up with me. The having to put up with me deserves extra applause. It has been a very exciting time for our campus over the past couple years. And leading up to that excitement and leading us in that excitement, encouraging us to reach new levels of excellence to work together for the success of our students by fulfilling the PCC promise is our president of Pueblo Community College, Patty Urjavik. Please welcome her to the stage. Thank you, Joel, and good morning. You know, I don't know about you, but I couldn't sleep last night knowing that this was uh, one of the first things on my agenda this morning because it is indeed a Polaroid moment at Pueblo Community College. When you look around at this beautiful campus and you, you close your eyes and think about the enhancements that are going to be made over the next five months, it's just thrilling. But it's most thrilling because I know it's going to be for our students, our students who deserve the very best. As you all know, we've worked hard to establish ourselves in the PCC promise, and a piece of that promise is to respond to your needs. And boy, are we responding to your needs. When we started this project, um, I, I was just newly appointed as president, and I came in, and uh, we had a budget, and we had um, a, a rendering of what, we, what it is we wanted to accomplish. And I have to tell you, the, the money and the rendering were not quite equal. And so over the course of the last couple of years, though, all of the folks that you just were introduced to worked tirelessly to make sure that we brought together the financial resources and all of the, the very important concepts together. And we, are, we, are end, we have ended up with one terrific building. I can't wait for July 31st to come because at that point in time, we are going to add another important component to the, to the collegiateness, to the atmosphere of this college that is so important because at the end of the day, it is about the value that our students find in their education here at Pueblo Community College. It is about responding to their needs to make sure that we provide the best academic uh, opportunities in the most beautiful and uh, relaxing and safe environment that we possibly can. Because not only do we want you to work hard while you're here at Pueblo Community College, we want you to be able to have some fun and have some lasting memories. So I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, how proud I am of each and every one of you that have been involved in this project. And I want to be the first to invite you back July 31st when we, when we, break, when we um, welcome you back into the, uh, to the Student Center. So thank you all so very much, and thank you for your hard work in making this project possible. Thank you, Patty, and the refreshing leadership you have brought to Pueblo Community College. It is truly invigorating, and we all appreciate it. Now for the moment you've been waiting for. Can we hear a drum roll? Okay. If we could have President Urjavik and the Associate Student Government Officers come forward, um, including Tony Mo uh, Vasquez and James Vasquez, past president and vice president, we're going to break the ground.
G.H. Phipps told you if you like to keep digging and digging and digging, you can. So it might even give us a credit. We need some of those right now.